Well, hello there, folks. This is Paw Paw G, your compost gardening CEO. Is back with a let's bury some compost, some decomposing material in the composting mound and return some items to the stove video. <laughs> what do you know? Intro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I'd saw a bull raining around the hills and mount. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollowing around the merry streets. With a rang tang tang and a ting 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 and a through the way a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball and through the way we would uh, run. All right guys, let's go. We got a couple of things to do, don't you know? As you know, remember, Paw Paw G likes to <laughs> get two or three things done with one stone, if possible. Don't you know? <laughs> Here we go. We're taking another look at the at the uh, compost garden, guys. Another look at the compost garden in the, at the beginning of this video. There's some kale over there. Some collards there. Broccoli there. Broccoli plant. Because uh, Granny D came out and harvested the broccoli off the top of that one. A couple of days ago. But there's one left right there. Don't you know? Broccoli guys. Growing. Growing and growing. Out here in this compost garden guys. All right. <laughs> yes, indeed, guys. Deep composting gardening, guys. Compost gardening. That's what this is, guys. It may look a little strange to some people, but when you're compost gardening, it's not strange. It's fun, guys. It's more fun because you don't have to deal with as many weeds. <laughs> Let's go over here to the to the uh, composting mound here, guys. The compost mound, the decomposing mound, guys. That's what this is. Decomposing material that is uh, creating more soil under there. More soil. This is mulch leaves and grass on the top, guys, for you new guys who uh, who just subscribed or just started watching this channel. This is mulched up leaves from all over this yard. Mulched up. I see some more here fails, guys. It's fallen, guys, that's, that's been with me before. So we got to spend another day, uh, some more time mulching up some more. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. We can march them anyway. That's right. That's what we want, guys. Materials, things to be able to mulch up and create more decomposing soil. Some more soil, guys, because there are plenty, there are, there are worms under there, under that mound, guys. My subscribers, subscribers that's been with me longer, they know that, uh, there's some there's worms under there. There's, we ran into two big ones the other day, guys. Big worms, almost the size of my pinky. <laughs> they weren't quite that big, but hey, they they were heading that they heading in that direction. Oh my gee, keep feeding them out here. Keep feeding them these watermelon rinds and and watermelon, watermelon, watermelon rind. Look at the school board and see who's behind. Them weeds. <laughs> Those weeds are behind, guys. Those weeds are losing. 
they losing ground with Popo G. They losing ground. Because we are steady creating soil for, for the uh, compost garden. That's the way we do it, guys. We create soil because I'm not a tiller anymore. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm not a tiller anymore, so guys, we create our own soil. That's what the composted mound is for, to create composted soil. The most soil so that uh, we'll be able to add to the compost garden. That's how we do it, guys. We add to the compost garden because uh, we don't have we don't till anymore to be able to till and then rake the soil up around the the plants anymore. And so we create composted soil. We create soil so that we'll be we'll have uh, we have soil to put around the plants once we once we uh. Uh, instead of instead of tilling and then pulling up the, the, the till soil up around the plants, we we create soil to add to around to add around the plants. Anyway, <laughs> ah, let me see which way I got this head again. Let me put that up so I know where I, where I need to have this aimed. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, oh geez, a new YouTuber, guys. And, well, I've been at it about, man, man, wow, about nine months now, I guess. Around nine months. And, uh, but anyway, we have a, about 153, 54, 50, maybe 55 videos for you guys to go and watch to catch up. So, so you can be able to see how, how, uh, I've made video, created videos to show you how to do compost gardening. And so you can go back and look at those videos, guys. I have titles, good titles on them. So you can, you can pick them out and look at them. So look at them all. It won't bother Paul G if you, if you watch them all. I saw the camera about to fall, guys. <laughs> we don't need that. Anyway. Lower it down, so it's, 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 it's a little windy out here. It's a, little, it's a bit windy. I think you can still see me over there. I got my back to the sun, and so it's kind of hard to see the screen. But I believe you can, you can see me pretty well over there. Kind of see what I'm doing. Let me let me uh, get to it. <laughs> ah, I don't want that camera to fall and maybe turn off. Papa G like to cut the camera on and let it roll, guys. Let it roll. Let me get my boundary stick here out of the way. So we can get these in the ground today. Yes, indeed, guys. We're creating soil. And the, and the worms under there are helping Papa G. They helping Papa G create the soil. That's one thing about compost gardening, guys. You uh, when you compost when you compost gardening, you don't have to destroy the worms. And I just saw one. Anyway, <laughs> let me get busy. That was one I don't know if 
I injured it or not. But anyway, from what I understand about worms, they can might be able to join back together or something. It's not in this to hurt to injure the worms or to hurt the worms, but sometimes things happen, guys. Plastic here. Plastic from a virus from a bin that I had. Got in here some type of way. The, 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 the bin had decomposed, had, 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 had to uh, had, uh, broken up because it was uh, old. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was old. And so it was, it was uh, it had decomposed and so it broke up when I, when I brought the fall over camera. Don't fall over. Let me get let me get it done. Let me get it done, guys. <laughs> uh, so far, G is just creating some content for you guys to be able to watch. Anyway, guys, that's what we're doing here. We're burying decomposing material into the compost mound. Decom into the compost mound we got over here. So that we can grow more soil. Or, or, or can we grow or be able to develop? Maybe that's a good, good word for it. Develop more soil, composted soil. To add to our plants once we uh, need to add to it. To add more nutrients to different things around the plant so, so it'll soak down into the ground and, and keep growing food. Keep growing food for Popo G. Because as you guys know, Popo G likes to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Popo G likes to. Yeah. And so, if I can eat, be able to eat uh, organic, organically. The more organically, the better, right, guys? The more organic food, the better. If you guys stick around, and I'm going to take you to the store with me to return an item that I bought yesterday. didn't have my glasses on because uh, I had just returned from the from the uh, eye doctor and I told you guys yesterday I had to go to an eye doctor I had to go to the eye exam have my eyes exam examined and so and they had dilated my eyes and so that made it a little bit tougher for me to be able to see yesterday without my glasses and I ended up getting the wrong Picking up the wrong item out of the store. And so I'm gonna take it back in a few minutes. Stick around, you ride, get the ride with me. In the truck that my son James gave me. We take a ride. We in Gulfport, Mississippi, by the way. 
down so the worms will be able to work with them upside down they can probably get to them better I imagine now we got some banana peels and a cutie cutie hole those little cuties they have in the stores, guys, they, they, they small, like onions, like a, they look like oranges, but they're small. They're small, and uh, I ate about four of them yesterday. <laughs> I ate around four of them all at one sitting, guys. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is rake some of this uh, mulched up material here around to the, to, to the, uh, and, and, I'm, and I decided to start doing that so that I can bury this mulched up material and get it to start it decomposing. I thought about doing that guys, and, and so I'm gonna stick with it. Sounds like a good idea. Well, I know it's a good idea because there's no need of it just sitting up around here and, uh, and staying up here on the top when I could have it decomposing down here in the uh, in the mound. And so that's what I'm doing, guys, is covering it up with the uh, decomposing material that I've already put in there. Let me see, I'll rake a little bit more. I'm gonna rake some more around here. See, it's starting to decompose up here on the top. But I would help it out by putting it under the bottom, under here, under the this soil that I uh, just took out out of the mound, I put it. I rake it. Let me just rake it over and cover it back up. Cover it all up, along with the decomposing material. I'm just doing. I'm 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 uh, figuring this out as I go, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm figuring it out as I go. And you guys can learn from, from what I do. And what works you can keep, and what don't, you don't have to keep. But uh, this seemed like it was a good idea to go ahead and bury this mulched up material that I mulched up the other day. I got videos showing that too, guys, when I was mulching up uh, material leaves, big sycamore tree leaves. They came out of my neighbor's yard, out of my neighbor's trees. They fell out of my neighbor's trees into the, into my yard. And so that's what I was doing the other day, mulching up. Uh, dried, dried leaves that had, that had fallen so that I can make good use of those leaves. That's one of the reasons I started uh, compost gardening, guys, for you new guys. I started compost gardening because every year my neighbor's uh, leaves would fall in the yard and I'd just be mulching them up. I'm glad we made it without the camera falling over. Let me see if it's still going. Yes, it's still going. <laughs> Yes, guys, see, see these big sycamore tree leaves over here? Big sycamore leaves, big sycamore trees. Big, yo, yo, if y'all know about sycamore leaves, they are huge. Let me see, can I find a couple? They are huge, guys. 
There's one there. They are huge. See it? See it alongside my hand? They're huge, guys. <laughs> but anyway, I figured some I figured out something to do with those big huge leaves that fall every year. Instead of just mulching them up. And uh instead of just mulching them up and spending time mulching them up and, and then just let them cover the ground, mulch, mulch them up in the yard. But then I just decided to put them to some good use. Put them to some good use, guys. And uh go ahead and, and uh started I started that's when I started compost gardening. Two or, two or three years ago, I started compost gardening, guys. And uh, it's working out great. Real good. You can see how much shade is coming over the garden now. Because I have these trees over here. It's a big uh, popcorn tree there. <laughs> I told my subscribers that's been, been with me, I'm going one day, I'm going to sit. I'm going to set the camera up and cut these down and cut this down from over my garden, guys. So, so that my garden will get more sunlight, don't you know? Anyway, let's go to the store. <laughs> let's go, guys. Ah, I'm not doing the outro because we're going to the store. <laughs> we're going to take, some, take a, a, a mistake Papa G did, made getting the wrong item because I didn't have my glasses on guys and I had just came from the it just come from the uh dentist from the uh, eye doctor and they had dilated my eyes and uh so I couldn't see as well as I usually can see <laughs> I had lenses I had lenses put in my eyes my eyeballs few months ago guys and uh and so now I don't have I don't need glasses I don't need glasses for anything but read that's all I need glasses for now I don't need them for anything but read and uh guys I'm gonna run inside and wash my hands because I don't want to uh touch things with that I've been uh touching this decompose decomposing material with with my hands and so I don't want to touch anything else until I wash my hands. But anyway guys, just uh hang out for a few few minutes, couple of minutes, and I'll be right back. We're gonna go to the store. Let's see, I'll be right back, guys. Let y'all look at something else besides. Let's look at the burn, at the burn barrel and the swing. My grandchildren swing out there. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'll be right back, guys.
Let's go to the store, guys. Let's see here. I'm planning on taking a long way back, guys. Take the long way back. So you guys stick around. Stick around with Pop G. And uh let's see. Stick around with Pop G. We're gonna go for a ride.
was told to go, doing whatever they wanted me to do. So I, I did four years and got out, guys. I did four years and got out. Never have been out of the United States before. Got yeah, close. Got up by Canada. <laughs> I got up by Canada, but uh, that was about it. <laughs> uh. Okay, guys, I'm going to I'm going to go in the store and take care of this business. Make this exchange, but uh, I'll be right back. Y'all keep an eye on the truck for me. This is the truck my son James gave me. <laughs> I don't want nothing to happen to it. I appreciate it, guys.
All right, guys. Appreciate you guys taking care of the truck. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. All right, the plan is now to take the long way home. <laughs> take another way home. Two strings want to come untied. That's okay. We'll retie them anyway. No problemo. Alright. Let's go, guys. Taking a long way home. If you guys know anything about Interstate 10. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna take you guys on the interstate today. <laughs> yeah. Let's go on the interstate.
age of 16. He had high blood pressure already. He had uh, things going on around him, I think, that helped him develop high blood pressure. And uh, he developed a, an interest in chemistry. As a matter of fact, he, that's his career now. That's his career now. But what it was that that uh, he, he, he he learned his uncle. I mean, let me tell you, tell you how, he, how it was. Straight up, his uncle was cook, cooking and making balls of. probably caused him to have high blood pressure at a young age of 16. Plus, with genes and different things like that, I believe they, they can have an effect on us too. But anyway, he say, he, when he saw that, how that uh, worked out with the chemistry and all, he developed an interest in it. Not to do that with it, not to, to, to cook those same thing, that same thing, st stuff with it, but you know, he, uh, he developed a, uh, a love for chemistry, period. And now he's a scientist. Well, he called, he's, a, he's a doctor. I guess he has his doctorate degree or whatever in science or whatever. And, uh, but he's, he teaches about plant-based plant eating. And uh, this uh, came up on my feed. This video came up on my feed because I'm the I'm the CEO of Compost Gardening, don't you know? And so <laughs> it's about gardening, and so and he was talking about eating plant-based food and fruits and everything. And so, but anyway, long story short, he say he uh, had eaten meat in 13 years and. He don't have high blood pressure, pressure anymore, guys. He don't have high blood pressure anymore. And so, anyway, plant-based eating is, uh, is, is, is a good way to go. Now he, now he owns a farm, a, a, a fruit farm, a citrus fruit, 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 a citrus fruit farm down in Florida. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tongue twister to that. A tongue twister there. <laughs> a citrus fruit farm down in Florida. <laughs> ah, I forget how many trees he say he's got, but it's pretty big from what I understand. But he he say he wakes up in the morning. Well, he when he when he the his first meal he say he eat his first meal at one in the afternoon. One o'clock in the afternoon is when he eat his first meal of the day. And it's all plant-based. And fruit, you know, and, uh, which is plant-based as well. And so, with the pinky out. <laughs> ah, ah, but, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, guys, he say he had eaten meat in 13 years. He don't have high blood pressure anymore. And uh, he don't get sick. With anything, and uh, he's just living a good life. And uh, he, but he he goes around making videos. He makes videos, and he's teaching people what he do, what he what he's learned. And uh, he was I saw him on another video teaching him, talking to him, uh, about four athletes, professional athletes, and one. One of the guys, 
was the guy that, uh, I'm not thinking of his name right now, but he won the, uh, he won the 100 yard, 100 meter dash in the, in the world competition. And I think he won it in the, in the uh, Olympics last year as well. I mean, uh, four years ago, I believe. What's his name? Uh, but anyway, it'll probably, it'll come to me. But anyway, he, uh, he had not eaten food, he had not eaten meat in 13 years. eating a banana or something early in the morning before I go to the planet of fitness and uh <laughs> so from the sounds of it the first thing he usually eat when he wakes when he uh his first meal of the day at one at one o'clock in the afternoon is fruit he said he eat a lot of fruit you know and he probably makes smoothies and things like that as well but he eat a lot of a lot of fruit and uh, and and so, but he he said, and, but he's not malnourished. <laughs> he's he says six two and weighs two hundred and twenty pounds. That's not malnourished, guys. <laughs> I'm somewhere around six three, and I'm one bout. I think I'm right around 200. And so he's not malnourished. <laughs> he's bigger than I am, as far as weight is concerned. But anyway, guys, Papa G's looking into that more and more. Looking into uh, eating plant-based. This man, this man seems, he knows what he's talking about. He wouldn't, he's, he's talked about this a long time, you could tell. And, uh, but anyway, we've made it back to the house, guys. And, uh, I'm gonna, uh, y'all, y'all see what I'm, what I have over there in the yard? I'm gonna show you guys what I got over there in the yard. <laughs> You who's been with me for a while probably know. <laughs> you and you who who's been with me for a while know what I used to sit out in the sun. I give y'all a hint. <laughs> give y'all a hint. What I usually have sitting out in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Somebody put it in the comment, if you know. But I usually sit out in the sun, guys. After I've given it a good squeeze. <laughs> First, I picked the biggest one I can see, I can find. <laughs> and then I, then I give it a good squeeze. And then I put it under the yard. you new uh, watchers, new viewers, take a look at what I'm looking at. What I'm talking about. Take a look at what I'm talking about. Popo G, you're here, guys. You wasn't riding around by yourselves. <laughs> but, look what it is. Damn. Whoa, me learn. Whoa. For you guys who don't know, that's what I do. I give them a good squeeze. Good squeeze all the way around. And then, then I, I, uh, I might slap on it a little bit. Then I set them out in the sun, guys. When I get them home, I set them in the sun. I call it curing. Let them cure out here in the sun, guys. And, uh, they be good. They they usually they are good. They are they're sweet and they are solid. They crunch. They crunch when you when you bite and when you are uh, eating the pieces of them and everything. They crunch. I'm gonna walk over here and give y'all a look at some work that I did with uh, Granny D the other day. Let's see, take my sunglasses off so I can see better. <laughs> better. But anyway, we put some, we planted some bulbs out here. As I said on the other video, my last video, Granny D is the, uh, head, head, she heads the uh, beautification department. And uh, the other day, she was headed out here to uh, do some planting. It happens to be Valentine. It happened to be Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate holidays either, guys. These man-made holidays, I don't celebrate them either. I don't celebrate man-made holidays. I look forward to feast days and things like that. And uh, I'm learning more about them about feast days and everything. Look at that. They coming up, guys. Those bulbs are coming up. I'm going here and tell Granny D that they coming up. On the rough side of the mountain. I'm coming up. On the rough side of the mountain. Well, I dug the trenches for her, guys. I dug the trenches and she planted the bulbs down in there. But anyway, guys, I'm glad you guys tuned in with Popo G today. And uh, I might cut that watermelon. <laughs> And uh, let you guys get you a snack and we eat together. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end this video. I didn't have much time on it anyway. I see I've been, do I've been running this one for 59 minutes and 4 seconds. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to end this one. And... Uh, as I show you the watermelon one more time. Outro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw bull raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry streets. 
With a ring ting ting and a ting 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 and a through the way a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap up peep a da I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball. And through the way we would ah uh, run.